guys welcome the Scorpio to Angels of the Earth Tarot this is a general reading for July monthly reading um, because it's general Scorpio if you're new to tarot that means that it won't resonate for all of you so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind if you'd like a personal reading for your circumstances alone specifically you're welcome to use the email in the description box below this video to email me and we can arrange that for you so we'll get straight into your reading Scorpio and see what the universe has coming towards you during the month of July. Then look at your past, present and future. We have the Knight of Wands here, the Hermit and the Ten of Pentacles. We're also going to look at a, situ a situation that may um, confront you during July any problems that you may face and any actions that you may be inclined to take. So we start off with the Knight of Wands which is it's a, a great energy of enthusiasm and love and passion. It can be a little inconsistent though so it could be the energy that you find yourself in or you have been fine because this will be during the month of June. Uh, that you have been feeling perhaps up and down or you know a little bit up and down or it could be someone in your life who has been coming and going in your life and causing a little bit of havoc <laughs> um, we have the hermit here let's have a look and see clarifying cards for the hermit something has caused you to just stop and look at things a little deeper um, so I, I do feel that with this Knight of Wands, whether it is your energy or a person, someone else in your life, it has caused things to be quite um, full on, we could say, quite full on. And um, they could be wearing at times because it's been so busy, so full on, a little overwhelming. Um, and this may have caused you to go into this energy of the hermit here where you've needed to just time out just to think about things um, but coming out of the energy of the hermit during the month of July you will be manifesting good things so you, you'll have in your mind um, ideas of where you want to go and you'll also have ideas of how to bring that about and that is all likelihood why at the end of July you will probably end the month in a good place um, it could be financially that things will improve for you by the end of the month. Um, however, during the month with the Seven of Wands here, there will be some cause to, you know, you might have to just defend um, your decisions to someone. Um, it, it's, it's not going to be all easy. You, you, you will have to sort of put some effort into it. But you're used to doing this. It, it, at some point you may during the month of July you may sort of start to doubt yourself but don't do that just just grab hold of what you know to be right and uh, what you have planned here and move forward with that during the month we've, we've got the seven of pentacles here which again is reflection so this is sort of like twice I'm sort of getting the feeling that you you might doubt yourself and doubt you might doubt your ability we've got the nine of pentacles here during the month of July doubt your ability to be able to pull off what you plan or what you need to happen in your life um, and it could be you know that you sort of look back at what you're reflecting on is how someone has not been supportive in the past and you know they could have left you you've got the cards here of someone leaving you in the past uh, or, or just simply not getting their support and some friction taking place here, arguments or, you know, but it's, 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 I don't think it's terribly serious for some of you. It's sort of like um, backwards and forwards, you know, trying to sort something out here in your life. Um, but I do, I do feel that it might bring back memories from the past where, you haven't had support and someone could have left in the past you, know, but you could have been in a situation in your past where they had left and it sort of makes you feel a little unstable right now but you do finish the the month on with the knight of cups here so um, let's have a look where this is taking us this could be you or 
So this is love. Knight of, Knight of Cups is a love situation here. Someone's coming towards you with an offer. We've got the Lovers card. Oh, so guys, you've got, for some of you here during the month of July, there's someone coming into your life. For some, it will be a new beginning. Um, and if, if this situation is regarding a connection that's not been going too well, uh, perhaps a little unstable, a little, you know, in and out of your life, well, they're coming towards you with um, an offer here, a beautiful offer of love. Um, I do feel that you know it's it's someone very dear to your life, and it, you, you're going to finish the month feeling just beautiful. Um, the the love they bring to you is going to empower you. Um, they sit in a beautiful energy here and feel really really good and positive about yourself. So that's a lovely energy to end the month of July on. I hope this helps, guys, um, and I hope this uh, for those who it resonates. I really hope this helps and uh, we'll see you again next month next week for your next reading Scorpio so we'll see you then bye now